number one, which is. Good evening, everyone. Today we are going to perform a skit of William Stanley Hopton. That is the Dear Departed. The characters are Amelia, Dia, Elizabeth, Pavani, Jimmy, Bhishma Naidu, Victoria, Pratiksha, Henry, Yash, Ben, Anmol, Evan, Aditya. Now here it goes. Amelia, Amelia, I'm thirsty. Bring me some water. Yes, Dad, I'm bringing. Bring fast. Let me quench my thirst. Here's your water, Dad. Are you listening? Dad, Dad, Dad. I think Dad is no more. Let me call Henry. Victoria, what are you doing? Go get your dress changed. Aunt Elizabeth and Uncle Ben is approaching home. Mom, Aunt and Uncle? Yes. Why are they coming for? They haven't been here for ages. Victoria, your grandfather is no more. They all are here for the further discussion about it. How did Elizabeth come so early? Mom, can I open the door? Mom, it's dad. Thank God it's Henry. I thought it's Elizabeth. Is it so? What happened? Nothing. Henry, have you ordered new morning dress? Yes, I did it. It will be arriving shortly. By the time we will wear ordinary dress. Henry, your shoes are old and torn one, right? It's okay. I will get the new one. No need to waste money on it. You can wear dad's new slippers. They'll be of no use now. Dad's slippers can't fit me. They will be very small for me, my dear. You wear it, it will be adjusted. Henry, I have been thinking about the bureaus of dad. You know, I wanted his after his death. If Elizabeth arrives, she will take it. Perhaps she's got her eye on the bureau as well. It's true that... It's true, but we can shift that bureau to our dining room before she arrives. Okay. Mom, why are you shifting the bureau? Victoria, don't you know that grandfather has promised to give his bureau after his death? Amelia, let's check the historical precious clock from Dad's room. We will fix it in our front room. I know it's Elizabeth. Victoria, don't open the door until unless you are instructed. Why are you so late? 
We have been waiting for you since an hour. This morning the speed is delayed. We have received this lately. Our morning rest will also receive uh, arrive soon. I think it's about to reach. Please be seated. Let's have a cup of tea. What did doctor say? We could not meet the doctor as he was out of town. You would have called another doctor. Elizabeth, you know very well about our family doctor, right? Then how could we call another doctor? <coughs> I'm completely now. How did dad pass currently? Ben, I am too shocked. Dad was fine yesterday. He had breakfast. He went to visit his friends in Ringo Bells. He even paid his insurance. He was happy while returning. He had his dinner outside. When he reached home, uh, he was thirsty. I was about to give him water. By that time, he was laying dead. It's okay. Do you want to see dad or have dad snacks? If tea is ready, let's first have it and then we will see dad. Eliz uh, tea is ready. Elizabeth, let's go get it. What shall be announced in newspaper regarding dad's death? We shall announce never forgotten as a title. No, never forgotten is not the suitable title. <laughs> he passed away yesterday and how can we forget him so quickly? Hey, we can write as a loving father, a kind husband and a true friend. Those are not the true facts about our father. Is it necessary to write only the truth? We can write anything to impress our family, right? Let's write a poetry. Yeah, we should write in a such a way that our father used to love us and take care of us. No, 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 no. Poetry is too expensive. Let's discuss this matter later on. Let's make a list of father's property and divide ourselves. There is no such expensive or valuable things or jewelry of our father. Dad had already promised that he would give his gold watch to Jimmy. I don't know and I never heard about his promises. Dad likes Jimmy a lot and in fact he kept his promise. Where is the insurance receipt of Dad? Ben, Dad has deposited the money but I have no idea about the exact amount. Mom, dad didn't go to deposit the insurance. After his breakfast, he went to church with somebody. What? Money is not deposited? Actually, dad has overdue in his account. What? Overdue? He wanted us to be in trouble or what? I knew he was a drunken beggar. Dad stayed with us for three years and he suffered like anything. Dad even stayed with us for five years and we faced the same. Okay, let's check the insurance receipt whether there is any overdue or not. Victoria, go get the key from grandpa's room. Maybe the insurance receipt in his bureau. No, mom, I won't go. I'm scared to go. Go, Victoria. Nothing is there and nothing will happen to you. Okay, ma'am. Wow, this bureau is so nice and artistic. From where did you get this bureau? Actually, this bureau is bought by Henry. Henry, from where did you get this bureau? Uh, Amelia, do you remember from where we have got it? I am damn sure that it would be brought from auction as it is a unique one. Yeah, it's brought from the auction only. Then it's not the new one. It must be the second hand only. All the objects are second hand only as they are unique ones. Mom, mom. What happened to you, Victoria? Mom, grandpa just woke up. What? 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 Are you serious, Victoria? Someone is coming from upstairs. Let's all go and check. Are you alive? Hey Jimmy, what are you saying? I am alive. What happened to Victoria? She was scared of me and ran away in front of me. Hey Elizabeth and Ben, when did you come and buy? Where are my sleepers? Dad, it's in your room only. No, it's not there. I have searched everywhere. Hey Henry, why are you wearing my sleepers? Dad, I have only given him. I completely forgot. Sorry. Victoria, are you alright? Grandpa, are you alive? We thought you are no more. Victoria, shut up. Dad, she's asking for your well-being only. How sweet of you, Victoria. Elizabeth, see how dad likes Victoria a lot. Dad even likes Jimmy a lot. Let's ask dad to, uh, let's ask dad the 
promised to give the gold watch to Jimmy. No, no, it's not the correct time to ask. Why are you all in the morning attire? Has somebody passed? Yes, Dad. Ben's brother is no more. What? He has a brother? Yes, you are unaware about it? Dad, please be seated. Let's have tea and discuss. <coughs> Dad, you have been sleeping for a long time. We called you. Were you aware about it? I was not asleep. I had severe headaches, so I could not notice that you were in my room. Really, I could not get anything as well as you. I don't know about your entry in my room. But I could not remember that someone has shifted my bureau from my room. Dad, are you asking about that bureau? It was brought by Henry and Amelia from auction. Yes, I'm talking about that bureau. It's my bureau. Who brought it here without my permission? Dad, let me explain you what's going on here. Elizabeth, keep quiet. Don't say what's going on here. Shut up. I'm going to say what's going on here. Dad, Amelia and Henry shifted your bureau before our arrival. We thought you were dead before our arrival. Well, I had a bill for both of you, as that is not sufficient for you. Dad, do you have a bill for us? Yes, I had. But now, I will change it. I'll give my entire property to someone who will stay with me till the end of my life. Listen, let's forget what has happened here. Dad was staying with you guys for these many days. Now he wants to stay with us forever. No, Dad will stay with us only. No, he'll stay with us. No, I want Grandpa in my home. I want Grandpa in my home. Dad, anyways you can stay with any one of us. I've already decided how to live my life further. I'm planning to do three important things. Number one, I'll change my bill. Number two, I'll pay my insurance premium. And number three, I'll get married. What? what? Dad, are you serious? To whom are going to get married? Yes, I'm married to Mrs. John Chanel this Sunday, 11 o'clock. You all are cordially invited. That is good that you have shifted my bureau on the ground floor. It's easy to shift to Ringo Bells. Don't, don't forget, you all are cordially invited. Your presence will be honored. Thank you.